The leadership crisis besetting the PDP has taken a different turn as the embattled national chairman of the party, Uche Sekundus, in obedience to a high court in River State, uh, has abdicated his office and handed over to his deputy, Elder Yemi Akiomi. Meanwhile, two contenders have emerged for the acting chairmanship of the PDP. The two contenders are Yemi Akiomi, Deputy National Chairman South, and Suleiman Nazif, Deputy National Chairman North. Now, they have engaged in hostilities, with each claiming to be the rightful occupant of the office of the acting chairman. Well, joining us to discuss this is uh, Chairman Ikwere Local Government Area uh, in River State, Samuel Wanusike, and former National Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, Fenashus Ikim. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank well, you for having me. It's my pleasure to be here with you. Great. I'm going to start with you, Mr. Ikem, because you have been uh, at the National before. You might be able to help us understand exactly what's happening within, uh, within the PDP. Uh, a few days ago, in fact, last week, we saw, you know, it looking like everybody had, you know, sheathed their swords. Everybody was hoping that they would um, together go for a National Convention, which would have you know, solved the situation on ground now because we now have two people allegedly claiming that they're supposed to be the acting chairman. But then what changed? What exactly is going on in the PDP? We saw um, the, the Sakoto state governor saying that, you know, all is well, everything seems to be calm. And now we're seeing another issue emanating from a, a court in River State. Can you paint us a picture of what's happening? Thank you, Mayan, for having me. Uh, it's my pleasure to be with you always. Uh, I I don't know why we are making a storm out of nothing. As far as I'm concerned, uh, historically, these issues always come up whenever the whenever we are approaching a national convention, and that goes for all the major political parties, not just PDP. And uh, if you look even globally, these issues happen. Even when the Americans are preparing for elections, there are usually uh, crises surrounding uh, candidature, control of the party and all that. So it's a democratic process as far as I'm concerned. Now, having said that, I'm not saying that it's the best we can have, we can do better. But having said that, I also believe that having this earlier in the day as we have now and resolving is better for us than postponing it when we are closer to the elections. And I believe ultimately this will be healthy for our democracy. Uh, the contentions about who is acting and who claims to be acting, uh, I mean, I, I didn't come with um, the constitution of a party to be clear, but I'm aware, and it's enshrined in the constitution, that wherever, whenever there is a vacancy for the chairmanship position, it's the deputy chairman from the chairman's zone that acts on his behalf or his, that steps in on behalf of the chairman. So that one is incontrovertible. I, I, so I don't even know where the issue should have been contentious. So for me, I think this might be the last, the last uh, pounds of a struggle towards the reactivation of PDP, for lack of uh, maybe a better word to say. But I think that we are on course, and I know that uh, once we go through the proposed NEC meeting, we will be on course to set up a new national executive that, so, that will uh, guide the party towards 2023. And I think that is what all these issues are about. Mr. Wanosike, um, this court order is emanating from your state. And I, I think we've had a conversation before where I asked if this is the hand of ESA, because your governor uh, has had twice, if not, if I'm not mistaken, asked that Mr. Sekundu step down. He seemed to have interest in, you know, the fact that Mr. Sekundu is still sitting on that seat. Does he want to be the party chairman? Does he have a candidate he wants to take over from Sekundu? I mean, because even Mr. Uche Sekundu has come out to say that uh, Governor Wike is after him. Well, first of all, thank you for the opportunity of being part of the program. Um, like my brother just said, I think Nigerians are happy that PDP is putting their house together. We are ready to let the moles go back to where they belong to. The moles that have been holding us down, the moles who have been seen the misrule that has been uh, 
handed over to Nigerians by the current government of President Muhammad Buhari and the APC. The most who have made life difficult hold on, for Nigerians hold on. To do so. Please turn off all your TV sets. Every single one needs to be turned off. We cannot afford to have that whole back sound. So if your TV is on, please turn the volume down to its minimum. We do not want to have that whole back because it's distorting uh, the sound that's coming from you. Um, Mr. Wanasuke, you can go ahead. Well, so like I was saying, that, you know, for you to have a beautiful sword, the metal needs to go to the furnace of fire. And during that period, if they tell you to appreciate that sword, you won't appreciate that sword. The People's Democratic Party is the only political party that have the structures in the 774 local government we have in Nigeria to be able to wrestle power from the misruling APC government today in Nigeria. Everybody, including you, that's conducting this interview agrees that even Mr. President himself has agreed that he has failed. That is why he told the service chiefs when he met with them a few days ago that please help me, let me not leave power as a failure. But having said that, Governor Zimbabwe so has too much to offer to Rivers people, not to talk about being a party chairman. He's not interested. But he's a critical stakeholder in PDP and he understands that the future and the lives of the Rivers people and the lives of Nigerians depends on what the PDP will offer. Because you cannot governize political parties that will have an election in 2023, probably in January, if it's not shifted, and you're saying that people should start forming and building new political parties, that means you're allowing the APC to betray themselves in office so, after 2023. So you agree that so the governor is the behind that court order? So you agree on national TV that no, Governor no, Wike no, is behind no, the court no, order? I never, so. I never said so. You said, you said that is, you asked me if Governor Yeso Wike wants to be national chairman. And I'm trying to answer you so you cannot push words into my mouth. You understand? Good. That the court order emanated to River State. Governor <laughs> Wike is not a judiciary staff. He's, an, he's the head of executive. And so Rivers people have the right to approach courts to ask for whatever. Even no Rivers people. Somebody from Abuja can come to River State to institute an action. Somebody even from America can come to River State to institute an action. So he has nothing to do with Governor Wike. If you've seen the order of court, you do not see Governor Wike's name in the order of court. So uh, I don't think uh, you, you'll be fair calling Governor Wike's name. But I understand you, and I know the platform I'm speaking from, so I can give it to you, that the worry you have, you bought your platform, and the ruling APC is Governor Wike and a few PDP leaders who want to stand their ground, and they will not be cowed like the other people who have voted out of PDP to go to where they believe that they will have soccer. For us, we want a stronger PDP. We don't want a PDP that will see all the shenanigans and all the misrule happening in this nation and they keep quiet. Imagine what happened in NDA, in the West Academy, the other, uh, 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 a few hours ago. It's an embarrassment to this nation. So we want this embarrassment to stop. We are not a ridicule. We are not a ridicule okay. to the entire world. All right. The giant of Africa is now a dead giant. So we need to wake up as a people and hold our future. We will not run like Afghans from the Taliban. No. We will stand as a people, get a political party that will wrestle power from the APC come 2023. And everybody in our party agrees. All governors, BOT members, all members of NEC have agreed in the previous meeting that Uche Sokondus does not have the capacity to okay. provide that leadership. And okay. Governor Zemoye okay. Sowike is a too much a critical stakeholder to keep quiet, right. to allow right. because right. Uche is from the state to right. say, oh, I I want to emphasize again. why our party is dying. I want to emphasize again, please turn off all your TV sets because we're having a feedback that we do not want to have right now because it's affecting the conversation. If there's a TV that's on around you, please turn it off so that we can have a smooth conversation. But I'm coming back to you, Mr. Ake. Uh, he's talking about a formidable party, a party that um, would be able to stand against the ruling party come 2023. But how does a party be, become formidable if its house is not in order with all that's happening? Because, I mean, I, I, I remember when Governor Tambua was addressing the press. He said that the, the chairman will stay until they had the party convention. And then, of course, things would change. But it's yet to be party convention. And here we are again having this conversation. And you said earlier on that we're making a mountain out of a molehill. But of course, if the PDP wants to be the party that can take out the APC, we can't be having its dirty linens washed in public, can we? 
No, uh, we are, I agree with you entirely that we probably need to have a, our house in order. But having our house in order doesn't mean there wouldn't be contestations for power. There have to be contestations for power as, as, as there is currently going on. Well, secondly, I want you to understand that the party is not at the National Secretariat. The party is a national party. PDP is a national party. Like uh, the gentleman just said, the chairman just said, with structures across the entire 774 local governments of Nigeria, uh, and strong structures in the sub-national governments in the 36 states from, uh, and uh, the federal capital territory. Now, that is where the foundation of the party lies. It is not at the national secretariat. What is happening, uh, but before I say that, at the sub-national levels, PDP has completed congresses in the nine or so, seven or so, if, I, if my memory is um, correct. Now, having said that, you realize that there is hardly any crisis in all those 29 states. So the crisis, if you call it that, at the national level, about changing the structure, the leadership by the national level, as far as I'm concerned, is a storm in a teacup. Once we get through that, as we're about to fall in place, because our structures remain formidable in the wards, in the local governments, and in the states. So um, for me, I think PDP as an opposition party has done much better than any other party opposition party has done throughout the 21 or so years of this democracy apart from the short intervention well. formation it and won elections me. in 2015. I'm sorry, I can see the mess. has the PDP really have, done well? Because it country. sounds to me like a, a lizard situation where it falls from high up there and then knocks to itself or gives itself a pat on the back that I've done well. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know if Nigerians feel the same way when it comes to saying that you played the right kind of opposition. How well has the PDP matched up to the opposition? I mean, putting it side by side when the APC was the opposition and the tables were turned, can you really say you've done a great job? Yeah, we will test that at the elections coming up. Like I said before, the APC was not up to a year when he won elections. And um, of course, because PDP had been in government before. I think we're having connection so issues with you, Mr. Ikem, so I'm just going to uh, put a plug on your um, response there. We'll come back to you. Hopefully that the internet will be friendlier. Uh, but let me come back to you, um, Mr. Wanosike. Now we see two people contesting for that seat, even though Mr. Ikem has said that the party constitution clearly states that when the party chairman steps down, automatically somebody from his zone, a deputy from his zone, is supposed to take that place. But, I mean, looking at what it is now, it, it spells confusion all over because if you have a manifest, or rather a constitution and you're not sticking to it, I'm wondering, what else is the PDP not sticking to? Well, first of all, that's not an issue to us. Um, what we're interested in is the next meeting that has been called for on Friday. Um, the neck is... The superior body, the, the 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 final habitat of our party. When the neck meets on Friday, you'll be happy that the People's Democratic Party will come out flying again. You see, uh, for us, we don't want you to lose sleep over what is happening. Like my my colleague uh, said, contestation of power is a normal thing that happens. It happened in the APC. Don't forget before they do election, and so it depends on how you manage yours. If you manage us wrongly, you face the consequences. You manage us rightly, you take the victory and give God all the glory. Don't worry yourself, my sister. On Friday, the neck of the People's Democratic Party will meet and the decision that will gladden your heart as a Nigerian. I know even you, you are praying that the good days of the People's Democratic Party will return what when we will have the dividends of democracy that you appreciate. And even as you're there, you're not comfortable because you're not sure if bandits will not invade your studio, if bandits will invade NDA, the seat of where all our military minds are being groomed, and kidnap cadets, and even the military will pay ransom. You know, it's shocking. Listening to Chinese television this morning, I asked myself, come, what is really happening? Is this Afghanistan? So, but Nigerians have agreed that APC have, even APC leaders have issued statements that, in fact, today on national television, an APC chief then called on the National Assembly to institute an impeachment proceeding on the president. So for us, we don't want to worry ourselves. 
the job has half done by our opponents. They've made it easy for us to win the election for 2023. And that's why they are scared of signing the Electoral Act to the Electoral Act Amendment to say that results, election results should be transmitted from the polling units to the INEX servers. They know what will happen. They know that it will be a sweep all over the 774 local governments in Nigeria. But we don't want to worry ourselves. PDP, after Friday, will come out strongly. I can assure you that. Don't bother yourselves. Finally, Mr. Ikim, I hope that your connection is great now. Um, what direction is the PDP going? Um, because Nigerians are watching, and I'm sure that, um, like you said, oh, I think we lost um, the connection with Mr. Ikim, unfortunately. So, um, Mr. Wanosike, the last question goes to you before we wrap this up. What direction is the party going in? Because uh, Mr. Ikim said that it's a national party, um, and you also said that the party is a national party. But from the look of things, it looks like the PDP is gradually becoming a regional party of sorts because look at where the governors of the states are. And it seems like the opposition has shrunk uh, the reach of the PDP, even though the PDP would keep telling you that they have more you know, um, spread in the country than the APC. What is the PDP doing about that? First of all, you, you have even said it yourself. Did we need, do we need governors in all the states to win election? Did the APC have even one state when they won election in 2015? <laughs> so that argument does not follow. The truth of the matter is that Nigerians are fed up. If the PDP members only the voters in Nigeria, we are telling you that as we speak today, that there are 40 million Nigerians who are voting age who have not voted yet. You heard the uh, 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 presiding pastor uh, called uh, uh, Tunde Bakare. He said, Nigerians that have not voted, who have not voted before in previous election, we vote in this election come 2023 because this election, our life depends on it. This election will not tolerate the issue of military incursion, will not tolerate the issue of police incursion. This election will take the way that it happened in Zambia. You saw the people of Zambia rise to say, enough is here, enough. We need to take our nation, we need to take our destiny by our hand. And we are calling our brothers in diaspora. The time to return is now. Let's take our country, rebuild it. All our leaders have done their best. Those who have failed have failed. The ministers that have failed have failed woefully. They don't have anything to offer anymore. There is no more time. We are saying PDP will win all the 36 states. Mark my word. PDP will win all 36 states okay. in this nation. I bet anything for it. I can tell you. All right. Well, the voters will decide. Uh, thank you very much. Um, Mr. Wanusike is the local government chairman for Equerry in River State. And uh, unfortunately, we've had a little connection problem uh, with the former National Publicity Secretary for the People's Democratic Party, Mr. Vinash Sikimbola. Thank you, gentlemen, for being part of the conversation. We have to go now. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, we'll take a short break. And when we return, I will be giving you my take. Here's my take. Now, it is very disheartening. It's pretty scary that a military institution in this country, such as the Defense Academy, with a mandate to train officers and cadets for commissioning into the three services of the armed forces, was attacked by a soldier and a soldier was killed. When will the Nigerian government, led by Mr. President Mohamed Buhari and his governors, understand that security of lives and property of Nigerians need to be topmost on their list? And not the 23, 2023 elections, because that seems to be the focus of all our politicians and the security of our people seems to have taken a back burner. So when will the governor, when will the president stop treating the issue of banditry with kids' gloves? Here's a reminder, Mr. President. You promised us in 2015 that you would give us improved security. This is nothing close to it. The time is up. No more playing games. It's time to get to work before this blows out of proportion. Fix Nigeria and fix it now. I am Mary Anacle, thanking you for watching.